Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest media reports, Hindustan Aeronautics proposal for supplying 83 Tejas light combat aircraft to the Air Force has been repeatedly found non-compliant with its requirements, and the matter would now be taken to the Defense Ministry for deciding the future course of action. According to the Air Force, the price of the aircraft and other aspects was valid only for 12 months, whereas the procurement procedure mandates it to be minimum 18 months, and the delivery schedule offered by Hindustan Aeronautics was not in compliance with the requirements of the Air Force. According to top officials, the endurance levels of the aircraft have not been found to be very optimal, and the ferry range of the aircraft was not compliant with the requirements put in the tender by the Air Force. The Indian Air Force has said that the program had got delayed by more than one year after the acceptance of necessity accorded by the Defence Acquisition Council for the 50,000 crore rupees program in November 2016. The DRDO has developed the K-4 submarine launch system with a range of 3,500 kilometers, and according to reports, it is due to enter service in the early 2020. India has already begun construction of four Airy Hunt class submarines of progressively larger configurations, and has already launched the second submarine, which has a more powerful reactor and can carry twice the payload, and it is expected to be commissioned between 2019 to 2021. India will begin construction of four larger and more advanced S-5 submarines, and it will be equipped with K-6 systems with a range of 6,000 km with MIRF capability. India also intends to build six nuclear-powered submarines of Chakra 3 class, but devising more powerful nuclear reactors remains a stumbling block in the development. India's naval defense capacities will be going up a notch higher, as the Bharat Dynamics Limited has inaugurated its acoustic tank test facility. The facility will be used for testing the acoustic systems of various underwater systems including torpedoes, as the acoustic systems are required to be tested and calibrated prior to their deployment in the actual sea waters. This test facility enhances their manufacturing capabilities and creates opportunities for handling multiple projects simultaneously. The Indian Space Research Organization is working on upgrading its GSLV Mark III, and the upper stage of the system will have highly refined form of kerosene as fuel, as it will generate more thrust. The chairman of ISRO Dr. K. Shivan has said that the space agency wants to increase the payload capability of GSLV Mark III from 4 tons to 6 tons, and the first test of the advanced version of Mark III will take place in December 2020. Thank <laughs> you.